To conclude our module on, on coding theory, let's see how we can use codes to encrypt data. So the first crypto system that we're going to be we're going to see is the Macaulay's crypto system. So here is how we generate the key. First, uh, we select an NK linear code for which we can correct T errors, and we call this generating matrix G. And we're going to obfuscate G. Um, so we're going to release. Uh, information uh, that consists in, um, in obfuscation of G. So we, to do that, we select a non-singular matrix of size k by k and a permutation matrix of size n by n. So basically, we would like to, uh, so we compute the, the public key as s times g times p. Now, the idea of the left and right multiplication is to obfuscate G by invertible matrices. Now note that there is something special about the, the P is that on top of being invertible, it is also permutation matrix. So there is something we have to restrict ourselves to the specific kind of invertible matrix matrices. And we'll see, um, we'll see later uh, why this restriction. Now the public key is G hats, which is S times G times P and T, and the private key is S, G, and P. So we're hoping that that obfuscation of G by multiplying it on the left and the right by S and P respectively masks enough that information so that it's not possible to retrieve those information from the public key. Now here is the encryption. Uh, we compute C prime, which is M, the message time G hat, and we create a random element, a random vector of Hemingway T, and we add it up to create uh, our ciphertext. So this is the ciphertext. Let's see how we can decrypt with the Macaulay's crypto system. So because we know P and S, we are capable of calculating the inverses, uh, P, uh, P inverse and S inverse. And we can compute C hat, which is C times P inverse. And then we decode it to an M hat, which is a, 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 a code word. And then we multiply that M hat by S inverse to retrieve the message S. So let's see why uh, this uh, decoding uh, decryption procedure works. So here is the thing. C hat, which is so C multiplied by P inverse, can be decomposed as a term, which is a linear combination of the rows of G, which is basically a code word, and um, an element Z times P inverse. Okay. Now here's the thing: because we chose P to be a permutation matrix. The Hamming weight of Z times P inverse is the same as the Hamming weight of Z, which is exactly T. Okay, so on the one hand, we have a code word, and on the other hand, we have an element whose Hamming weight is at most T. So we know how to decode that element to retrieve M times S. Okay, now M times S is not quite the message, and then to, do, to, to, to retrieve the message, all we have to do is to multiply by S inverse. So let's work on an example. So we have H and S and P uh, given to us. And so first, let's uh, encrypt the message uh, 1 1. Okay. So to do that, so first let's let's notice that of course uh, G is uh, that we knew uh, from linear uh, from the uh, linear code um, chapter that we will have um, this matrix as uh, uh, the generating matrix. Okay, so this is G. Okay, and now because we have S, P, and G, we can calculate uh, uh, G hat. Okay which is, um, um, so we have GI is 10011 and 11101, one, one, okay. And now uh, to encrypt, uh, to encrypt M, so let's, let's select uh, the error vector E 
of Hamming weight one. So um, because the distance here is t, I mean distance is three, so t equals one. So let's 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 select for example the the weight one vector that has only a one on the first coordinate. So what do we have here? We have that um, our message m times g hat plus e equals uh, one 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 so four four times one and a zero. Note that this is only one of five different possible encryptions of m. Okay, so I arbitrarily selected e to be this element. But of course, we could have we could have had five different choices for e. Okay. Now let's see how the decryption procedure works on the ciphertext, uh, which is one 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 zero zero. Okay. So here we need the inverse of s. Okay. So inverse of s is just s itself in this particular case, which is of course not always the case and inverse of p as well which here uh, uh, which so um, to calculate the inverse of p we need um, we need methods that um, I mean we do not need to use generic methods simply because it's a permutation matrix okay um, so um, but if we did uh, here is what we get. So p inverse is zero, 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 one, zero. That's the in inverse of the permutation um, that is defined by p. Okay. So we have one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero. Okay. Uh, so now let's calculate. Um, C prime, which is C times, it's defined by C times P inverse, which is our first step here, and we get the vector 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1. Okay, now this is the code, the, 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 the vector that we need to decode. So to decode it, of course, we need to calculate its syndrome which here is uh, one zero zero now to simplify to simplify things because we know the distance of our code is three we will treat it as if it were a Hamming code so we're going to use the same uh, decryption procedure uh, decoding procedure so we notice that the syndrome of c prime corresponds to the third column of h okay so we know that to decode C prime, we need to, to flip the third um, coefficient. So we get, now let's call it um, C zero, is the decoding of C prime, which is one, zero, one, um, one, one. Okay. Now we know that uh, that C prime, that is, uh, zero the vector zero one times g okay because I can just have to read the information symbols at the beginning of the vector okay and this vector is also m times s so to get my message m all I have to do is to multiply uh, zero one sorry, um, one zero by S inverse. S inverse only flips the, the, the coordinates. So what I get is zero one. Okay. So here we have, uh, dec uh, we have decrypted the message. Okay. Now there is another way, uh, to use, uh, coding theory, um, to encrypt messages. It's in the Niederreiter cryptosystem. Um, so in some sense, the Niederreiter cryptosystem is, is a dual version of, of MacAleese, where in MacAleese uh, we sort of um, 
encoded mess messages and the code words, and here we're going to we're going to um, um, uh, encode the message in the syndrome. So let's see why. So same as before, we generate an NK linear code that can connect T errors. And now instead of considering G for the public key, we're going to consider H, the parity check matrix. We select an N minus K times N minus K binary non-singular matrix and the permutation matrix of size M times N, and we publish the public key H hat, which is S times H times P. So here, the procedure is very, very similar to, to the MacLeese crypto system, except for the fact that H, is repl uh, G, H has replaced G. And the public key is H hat and T, and the public key is H, S, H, P. Okay. The encryption here of a message that has at most uh, T non-zero entries is simply calculated by uh, multiplying H hat by M transpose. And now to decrypt, we first undo the multiplication by S by, by multiplying um, the cipher text by S inverse. And that gives us H times P times M transpose. And then we decode P times M transpose to find the code word that corresponds to that syndrome. And then we multiply by P inverse to undo the permutation, and that gives us the math. So let's see on uh, what how it works on an example. Let H uh, be the parity check matrix that define our code, and then S be uh, this matrix, and P uh, be um, uh, this permutation matrix. So to encrypt the message M, which is of of Hamming weight one, which is zero one zero zero zero. So we need, of course, uh, S inverse, which here again is just uh, S itself, okay? So we have this, and then we need P inverse, which is given to us uh, by the same, uh, so it is the same as we had before. So um, let's see on, you just see on the previous slide, okay? And so here, uh, H hat equals um, so eight S H P, which is um, the matrix zero 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 one 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 zero 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 and zero one 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 zero. Okay. Now to encrypt M, we calculate uh, H hat. Time. So if I calculate the encryption of M, H hat times M transpose, which gives us uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, okay? Now, um, let's, work the, let's work out the decryption on the example. So to first, we start by... Um, undoing the um, multiplication by S. So uh, S inverse times C equals um, uh, zero. So it's a zero one one. Okay. If I consider um, the um, column vector corresponding to C. Now uh, that is the transpose of the syndrome of one, zero, zero, zero. And, uh, sorry, zero, like this, okay? Um, and this is, um, uh, this we can see basically because, um, well, um, we see that the first column, I mean, we would need normally the, um, the table of, of, of all the syndromes, but here we were dealing with um, having weight one, so it corresponds to the first column of H. So I know that this is the syndrome of, uh, of the vector uh, one and all zeros, okay? So my decoding gives me the vector um, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, which then I multiply 
by p inverse, so I calculate p inverse times 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and that gives me uh, my message, which is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, okay? And that concludes uh, the decryption uh, of my of my ciphertext uh, 001 and that's it